Today we are doing electromagnetic wave theory, but before that we are doing what is atomic number, mass number, isotopes and isobars. So first is atomic number. What is atomic number? If suppose this is an atom, in the center of an atom we have a nucleus. In nucleus there are protons and neutrons and outside nucleus there are electrons which are moving in the shells. Atomic number is equal to number of protons in an atom. Atomic number is denoted by a symbol Z. It is denoted by a symbol Z, which is equal to number of protons in an atom. But atom is neutral and that is neutral because number of protons and electrons in an atom, they are equal. So, if proton and electron number is equal, we can also say that atomic number is equal to number of electrons in an atom that is in a neutral atom, not in ions. Because when the ions will form, either electron number will increase or it will decrease. Then it will not be equal to number of protons. So, when we have a neutral atom, then only atomic number is equal to number of protons and further equal to number of electrons. For example, if we take hydrogen. In hydrogen nucleus, there is only one proton and there is one electron. So, atomic number of hydrogen is 1. And if we take sodium, in case of sodium, in the nucleus, there are 11 protons and there are 11 electrons also in sodium. So, atomic number is equal to 11 here. So, atomic number is equal to number of protons or equal to number of electrons in case of neutral atoms. After atomic number, next is mass number. Mass number is denoted by a symbol a. For mass number, we are using a symbol A. This is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons in an atom. Number of protons plus number of neutrons. So, can we say mass number is inside this atom in the nucleus only because it is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. So, if I am taking for example, sodium. In case of sodium, like we have done, there are 11 protons. But along with 11 protons in the nucleus, there are 12 neutrons also. So, mass number of sodium is equal to proton number plus the neutron number. That means this is equal to 11 plus 12. That is equal to 23. So, mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons in an atom. Another example I am taking is of carbon. In case of carbon, in the nucleus of carbon, there are 6 protons and 6 neutrons. That means mass number here is equal to 6 plus 6 that is equal to 12. So, this is what is atomic number and what is mass number. Now, next term we have is isotopes. What are isotopes? These are atoms. Remember of same element. Atoms of same element. Which have. Same atomic number but different mass number, different mass number are called isotopes. Now, one example of isotopes is hydrogen. Hydrogen has three types of atoms. Atomic number of all these atoms is one. Here as subscript on the left hand side we write the atomic numbers and as superscript here on the top we write the mass numbers. So hydrogen three type of atoms they all have same atomic number 1 but see the mass number is 1, 2 and 
three of these. They have same atomic number but different mass numbers. So actually symbol of an element is we write the symbol and here we write the atomic number and here we write the mass number. This is how we represent an element with its atomic number and mass numbers. This isotope, this atom of hydrogen is called proteum. This isotope or this atom of hydrogen is known as deuterium. And this is the tritium. If these symbols are given to us, we will come to know about atomic number. We will come to know about mass number. And we will also come to know about the electron, proton and neutrons in these atoms. Like in this case, I am writing atomic number, mass number, proton number, neutron number and electron number for all these. See, in this case, atomic number is 1. In this case, 1 and here also it is 1. While mass number is 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Proton number is equal to atomic number. So, this is also 1, 1, 1. Electron is also equal to the proton because these are neutral. So, 1, 1, 1. Now, what is neutron? How will come to know about the neutrons from this representation? Mass number minus atomic number is equal to the neutron number. So mass number minus the atomic number is equal to neutron number. 3 minus 1, it is 2. This is how from the representation of these Atoms will come to know about the atomic number, mass number, proton number, neutron number and electron number. This is about isotopes. Uh, isotopes, after this we have isobars. What are isobars now? These are atoms of different elements. Atoms of different elements with same mass number but different atomic number of course these are atoms of different elements so their atomic numbers will be different but different atomic number example i am taking for this is carbon and nitrogen we know carbon atomic number is 6 nitrogen is 7 but both these they have mass number 14. There are carbon atoms, some carbon atoms with 14 mass also. So, these two are representing the isobars, atoms or different elements with same mass number but different atomic number. These are called isobars. So, this is isotopes, isobars, atomic number and mass number. Now, we are moving on to the next topic. After this is the electromagnetic wave theory electromagnetic wave theory first of all the postulates of this theory first point of this theory what this theory says is energy is emitted from any source continuously in the form of radiations and these are called radiant energy. Let's say this is a source. From this source, energy is coming out. And continuously it is giving out energy. Energy is coming out continuously in the form of radiation. This is a radiation from this source. Continuously this radiation is coming out. And this is called radiant energy. Second point now. These radiations... They have electric radiations, have electric and magnetic field. 
which are perpendicular to each other which are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of to the direction of propagation of radiation now what is the meaning of this point this radiation which is coming out this radiation has electric field as well as magnetic field associated with it these radiations have electric as well as magnetic fields associated with them and both these fields are perpendicular to each other in this and these are also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of radiation for example this radiation is propagating in this direction it is moving in this direction so these electric and magnetic fields are also perpendicular to this direction the site in which this wave is or this radiation is moving so all these three electric magnetic field and direction of propagation of radiation are perpendicular to each other third point all these radiations travel with the same velocity and that is equal to the velocity of light 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second all electromagnetic waves they travel with this velocity next is that they do not require these waves they do not require any medium for propagation for their movement it's not that they need any medium they need air water they need some medium they can even pass through vacuum so these rays are coming from the sun and they can reach to the earth through the space they can move so they do not require any medium for propagation they can even move in a vacuum so these are the four points of electromagnetic wave theory that all electromagnetic waves according to this theory these are given by the source and continuously these are coming out and these radiations they have electromagnetic field with them and these are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of the movement of this radiation all electromagnetic waves travel with a velocity equal to velocity of light they do not require any medium for their movement they can even move in a vacuum now we are coming to the characteristics of waves characteristics of waves like we know waves they are moving like this they are forming crest and they are forming the trough like this the waves they move this is the crest maximum upward displacement maximum downward displacement of wave is called a trough now characteristics of this wave first characteristic is when there's a wave there will be a wavelength symbol is lambda this is a symbol for wavelength what is wavelength distance between two consecutive crest or two consecutive troughs this distance is called wavelength distance between two consecutive crest or troughs two consecutive crest or troughs and it is expressed in angstrom one angstrom we know is equal to 10 raised to power minus 10 meter it's a small distance so we use a small unit for distance that is angstrom here which is equal to 10 raised to power minus 10 meter second characteristic of wave is frequency for frequency symbol is nu this v we just tilted like this this becomes nu now what is frequency frequency means number of waves passing through a point but in one second in one second is called frequency now suppose this is a point and waves are coming from this side from this point in one second how many waves can pass that is called is frequency so this is expressed in per second unit or hertz is the unit for frequency second or hertz 
Next is velocity. Velocity means distance traveled by the wave in one second. One wave is moving in one second. How much distance it can travel? That is called its velocity. Distance traveled by a wave in one second. It is represented by a symbol V. And if it is the light, we'll use a symbol C. And units for velocity is meter per second. Next is amplitude. What is amplitude? That is the height of this crest or depth of this trough. Height of crest or depth of trough of wave is called its amplitude. And it is represented by a symbol small e. And this is also distance for user units of distance here. Next term, the last term here is a wave number. Denoted by a symbol nu bar. It is number of waves in 1 centimeter. Suppose this is 1 centimeter distance. How many waves are there in this 1 centimeter? Number of waves in 1 centimeter is called wave number. And wave number is equal to 1 by lambda. So, unit of lambda, if we take centimeter, then nu by unit will be per centimeter. It is expressed in per centimeter. So, these are the characteristics of wave, wavelength, frequency, velocity, amplitude and wave number.